And now for an amazing true story from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 1, verse 6 through chapter 2, verse 1. Hannah lived in the hill country of Ephraim. She had a loving husband, Elkanah, and a beautiful home. But there was something that was still missing. God, why don't we have any children? She often sat staring at the empty cradle hidden away in a corner of the room. It doesn't seem fair. Every year, Elkanah and Hannah travel to the town of Shiloh to worship in God's house. Though Hannah loved to talk to God, there was one part of the trip that she hated. Well, well, Hannah. Still no baby? It was Penina, a peevish woman who had a whole passel of children. She loved to make fun of Hannah since Hannah had no baby of her own. Please, I don't want to talk about it. I bet you've made God angry. Otherwise, you'd have a whole flock of sweet little angels like mine. Hannah couldn't take it anymore. She got up from the table where they were eating together and rushed out the tent. Elkanah followed her. Why are you crying? Why won't you eat? Don't I mean more to you than ten sons? It's not you. It's just... Oh, I don't know. Choking on her tears, Hannah hurried into God's house. She poured out everything on her heart as she sobbed. Lord, you rule over everything. Please see how I'm hurting. Please don't forget me. Please give me a son. If you do, I'll give him back to you. He'll serve you his whole life. She continued to pray, softly crying out to God. But she wasn't alone. The priest Eli sat near the door across the room watching her. She's acting so strangely. He rose to his feet and crossed the room, taking Hannah by the shoulder. What's wrong with you? You'll disturb people with this behavior. I'm just praying, sir. That's all. I haven't done anything wrong. I'm only telling God my troubles. I'm very sad. Oh, my pain is so great. Eli softened. He could see that she was telling the truth. Go in peace. May God give you what you've asked him for. May you be pleased with me. Drying her eyes, Hannah stood and left God's house. She even returned to her meal and finished up the stew she hadn't been able to touch a short time earlier. Hannah, you look different. God has heard me. I don't know what he'll do, but he's heard me. The next morning, Hannah and Elkanah traveled back to their home. Now, though Hannah still didn't have a baby, she didn't feel so hopeless. Instead, she waited patiently through the rainy season and through hot, dry, bright days. And at last, God gave Hannah a baby boy. Elkanah, move the cradle out of the corner. Put it right here by the bed. What will we call him? His name is Samuel. And Hannah loved her new son <laughs> and raised him to love and honor God. But she never forgot the promise that she had made to God. Please. Give me a son. If you do, I'll give him back to you. So when Samuel was old enough, Hannah brought him with her and Elkanah to worship God in Shiloh. They brought him before Eli, the priest. Sir, I'm the woman who stood here beside you praying to the Lord. I prayed for this child and the Lord has given me what I asked him for. So now I'm giving Samuel to the Lord. When it was time to leave, Hannah said goodbye to her son. Be good for Eli and eat your lentils and listen to everything God tells you. I'll come back and see you soon. Every year, Hannah made a new robe for Samuel and brought it to him. And while she waited patiently to visit, God gave Hannah and Elkanah more children, three boys and two girls. The Lord has filled my heart with joy. He has made me very strong. Hannah knew that God might not always answer as she expected, but he always listened. <laughs>